Toe straight ahead, foot straight ahead, there you go. Just bend your knee to your second toe. So look down and just do your second toe. Yeah, you know, and come back. That's a little bit too much. Too much bending. Because if I taper in this position, then she's going to have a hard time. You could also do an ouch point. Straighten your knee. Ah, that's where it hurt. I could bend and cheat out of that. You could do it that way. Or you could let go. Let go. Come tall. Now, just let it bend. Give it about 10, 15 to go right there. And bear weight on that. I'd spray all of this so it's very sticky. Hair like this, uh, tape's not going to stick. You need to shape. Heel and lace pad right on the, behind the knee. Medial and lateral works very nice to cut the friction point down. Here we go. Knee straight ahead. So, did you get it from the back side? Because I want to have her turn around. I just want to make sure you can see what we're doing. Right? Okay, good. Now turn around, come this way. Mm -hmm. Same way, just like so. A little back step, just so tough. There you go. Good. So she's loaded. <laughs> and we can come right through, just overlap a half with the tape, right? The less under wrap, the better. I should overlap a half the width of the under wrap. The less under wrap, the closer the tape is to the skin, the better. Right? Just like so. What I want to do is knees bent, second toe good. Tighten your thigh isometrically and you stay. So I'm going to come here. I want to exit just below. I'm going to wrap around here. I'm going to hold it here. Take the stretch out. Tighten up. Make sure we're there. Good. I want to come around the corner. Tighten your thigh. Just like so. I want to take the stretch out here, not so much clamping around the thigh. Now I'm going to pull it the other way. There's my X in front. I'm going to come right around, just like so. We got her tight. I'm going to pin it here. And I'm going to come out and take my stretch out. Right. Alert Services, Jeff Nelson. Call Alert Services and talk to Jeff Nelson about getting your tape for your classes and for practice and for your athletes. So I got an X behind the knee. So I could do two. I could put a piece of I could put a piece of non-elastic tape as part of our restriction. Same way, just coming right over in the same. And I'd always have her keep her thigh tight when you're putting tape around here, especially non-elastic tape. And then I'd come through and do a cover. Keep your thigh tight. Cover your tape in. I'm not pulling tight. Does it feel tight? No, I'm just. This is three inch elastic tape that you can tear. Now, if I wanted, I could use the tape and make it part of the cover as well as help reinforcing the X. But we're going to run out of tape. And I pull it off the roll because it's so stuck to the roll. If I pull it off the roll while it's right against your skin, it's going to get too tight around her leg. 
So ideally, we'd like to finish this taping with three inch, but we've run out. So we'll finish it with two inch. wasn't enough we could put another three inch piece on there especially if she was bigger if she was a little tiny petite thing then maybe even maybe even less okay comment question so that's ACL or hyper so this is Xing behind the knee when we X behind the knee we limit extension what's the benefit of limiting extension Two things we've talked about. Who remembers? Right. So we can obviously we're going to limit hyperextending the knee. But two other things we've talked about. Why this taping works? Because this is one of the tapings that really works. The the valgus taping and the varus taping with a knee brace much more efficient. By itself, not that efficient, not something you could really rely on. It, when the knee's tight, knee's all the way straight, all the ligaments are taut. If all the ligaments are taut, greater chance of a tear. Number two is, when the knee is straight, the meniscus that's in between the two, between the tibia and the femur, that's in full contact with the joint. Greater opportunity to hurt it. So someone who had a meniscus injury, this could allow them to participate. Does it fix their meniscus? No. Someone who had an ACL injury, could this fix their ACL? No. Could allow them to participate with a partial tear that wasn't too severe. The other thing I like about this taping is when we put on the Elasticon from Jeff Nelson at Alert Services, we took it here, we pulled the tibia this way. We took it here and pulled the tibia this way. So we're going to limit some of the rotation that occurs at the knee joint. And we've identified that both medial lateral rotations of the tibia can contribute to meniscus injuries and can contribute to ACL injuries. So that pulling one way and then coming around and pulling the other way will limit that rotation and help to limit some of that normal mechanism that creates the meniscus problem or the ACL problem. 